Phew. Oh, wait. We're missing uh, something. Uh, wardrobe. wardrobe. <laughs> that never gets old. And we got hats. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Welcome to the one one double digit our favorite time of the year. Absolutely. 1-1-2023. One, one, what will Ooh. Adirondack have to say about that? A lot. And <gasps> we have a special guest. We have a very special guest who is in the studio we have with two us. two very special. Very, two very special guests, of course. And they join us. This is like, what, That's the third you, or time, fourth time? I don't know, but you can see we've got empty chairs here. And that is for our wonderful two guests. You will be so excited and when we, you see them. We'll tell you about them in a few they minutes. They should be here any minute. Yeah. <laughs> but first, let's bring in Randy. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Ready? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> well, you're a lot hi. farther away than you, you normally are. I mean, you're supposed to be over there. Well, I can't. You popped me in. So I, but Randy. you know, this chair is comfortable. So yeah. Next time, hey. have them give you a little bigger of a hat. You know, I'm just thankful I got a hat. That's right. So Happy that's right. New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year to you, ladies. <laughs> Yay. Oh, it's so. so exciting to be here on 1-1-2023, isn't it? 2023 is here. Oh, my gosh. Remember when 2023 seemed like a long time away? <laughs> it I did. I remember I that. Know. Like you would never graduate high school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was, it was like, I, I remember thinking when I was in my 30s, how old would I be in 2023? <laughs> this <I couldn't>, old. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't imagine being that wait, wait, old. This young. <laughs> I know. I I'm think ageless. let's use this young. That's a lot better. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but we do have a little bit of a problem. What's that? Well, that seat's kind of taken. Yeah, you're not. You can't oh, sit there. You, we you thought, know what? We have special guests. Are you saying we have special guests today? <laughs> yes, we have special and, oh, guests. They're supposed to be here uh -oh. like any minute. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. So, uh, so you're gonna pop me out again. Yeah. All yeah. right. Okay. Ready? <laughs> I love that. I know. I, and I love Randy. I love Randy, but I like to talk to Lee Carroll and Monica Marani. Well, let me see. Um, yeah, they should be here by now. They really should be here. I figured they'd be here before we started recording. Yeah, usually it's us who's late. <laughs> They're not usually late. <laughs> should, should I give them a call? Yeah, let's do that because we have a whole audience out there waiting. I have my for trusty cell guests. phone here. It's ringing. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Hi, Lee. Um, where are you? What do you mean, where are we? Uh, well, we're ready for the double digit to be recorded in Studio B in Branson. <laughs> You're supposed to come here. Um, Lee says we're supposed to be there. No, I'm pretty sure the schedule says they're coming here. Um, Joyce says you're supposed to come here. It's on the schedule. No. I don't think so. He says no. Well, then, looks like we're going to be going to the San Diego studio. Do you think that Randy got the transporter fixed? He said he did. It's fixed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll come there. <laughs> okay. Says they're coming here. Oh, great. Okay. Wait, where are we? We're Wait. in the monitor. We're You're not, not supposed to be there. Oh You're my. supposed to be here. Hello? Randy! 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 Maybe he's over there. Oh, no. 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 Oh. no. Wait, wait, wait. I know. We can do this. We, we did it to get here. You, what just happened? Do you realize where you were? Yeah. Everything is possible. Right. <laughs> that day was scary. Well, I think you need a bigger monitor. I think yeah. so, too. We need a, I want a 65 inch We need a bigger monitor. boat, actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's so good to see you. Oh, my goodness. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Great. Yeah. And welcome to the Healing Wednesday set. I love this. And 
Isn't we're still so Christmas out here. Well, you, you know, know, it is still Christmas until February, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Depends if you ask the retailers when they're done. With all this, huh? yeah. It's Christmas till Easter. Yeah, that's there right. you yes. go. Well, it's Christmas until the time for Valentine's Day. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I think you're right. So, what are we doing? Uh, this is your show. Oh, that's right. This is our show. <laughs> this is the Welcome show. to the Double Digit. Yes. <laughs> I feel like this is Healing Wednesday. We're, Wait a second. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is the only time we've ever been guests on our own set. Ah. You know, there's a first for everything, There, right? There is indeed. Yeah. Well, we would absolutely love to hear what Cryon has to say about 2023. Have you had any, I, I know you've had some inklings about it because I've heard some whispers. You know, yeah, there's little whispers. Yeah. But not, uh, this would be the first channel, I would think, where mm. Cryon would divulge anything. It's not about divulging, it's just, uh, you know, how, how it's going. Yeah. Well, before we get to that, I have some questions. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, not allowed. Uh, all right. Uh, Cryon I mean, says yes. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just, you guys are doing so much. I mean, you're doing Healing Wednesday, and you've got a whole new program that's come out, right? Yep. I, is it about um, butterflies, or um, <laughs> can you explain that to me? Chrysalis Academy. <laughs> Chrysalis. Talk about it. Yes, Chrysalis Academy. It came, so funny story, it actually came when I was pulling out some animal medicine cards and I pulled the butterfly and I start reading the whole information about the butterfly and how it's a transformation and a catalyst and Lee goes, stop, Crian's giving me a download. We're going to do a Chrysalis Academy. Oh, oh I love that. Except yeah. it's going to have to be with a K. Yes, <laughs> of yes. course. Yeah, yeah. of and, course. And so we didn't know what it was going to be, but it got revealed that the Lemurian teaching wheel is what the first course we needed to offer within the Chrysalis Academy. And we've been working on that since uh, 2017. Yeah. And we never, ever could present it. We've tried several conferences and with people there. And, and when that happens, Crying has always given me more information. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I mean, yeah. we, we just refined what we had and channeled a little more specifics of what we got in 2017. But there was really actually nothing revealed that was more than he had already given us. And it's quite complete. I mean, yeah. it's, it's in depth. Uh, as soon as we change the format, we're in the studio, we're giving courses, and we are going, we're rewinding the timeline so that we're with the kids and the young adults as they are taught. And so there's dialogue, there's the whole thing, and step by step. And what I like is Crying has shown us how they taught them. And it's, yeah. So it, it, it's really different. Yeah. <laughs> but um, the course is complete, and it's going to be a whole year worth of um, lessons. And I think this is really also for those listening in, as well as yourselves, that the timing is now ready for many things to get birthed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yes. so if you too have had a project that's been simmering, pay attention to the things that are going to birth it. And you'll know because you'll be in the flow of having it get done effortlessly. That's right. And so you teach the Lemurian teaching wheel, which is a part of the Chrysalis Academy. Yes. The, yeah, the Chrysalis Academy is, is, a, is a, it's going to be an online school. Mm. And it, it is now. And we have, uh, at the moment, we'll have the Lemurian Teaching Wheel. The, the um, DNA uh, uh, programs Classes, that we have done yes. are going to be part of it. And we're developing another one and then another one. So the school will have many courses. The most complete one and the biggest one is the one that we're working on now is, Chris, is the Lemurian Teaching Wheel. So in the Lemurian Teaching Wheel, I mean, we were there in Maui when Cryon first mentioned it. Yep. And, and first brought through that information, and mm -hmm. then we saw bits and pieces of it over the years. So this is the complete thing. This is the culmination. It's a reboot. It's a complete reboot. Nothing could happen until the studio was built. Ah. And, Thank you, and, COVID. <laughs> well, I, I think, and, and a lot of you listening know the story, but truly, uh, this could not have been done in, uh, for live audiences. Uh, it just, there's no way we could have traveled and done this. It had to be done through a course on video and through these teaching methods that we have now. That's what was, was waiting. I didn't know. 
Yeah. I mean, it's who knew? So, it's so amazing how things flow out of other things that you have yeah. no idea about. Yeah. Yes. You know, it's it goes back to what Adirond always says. Trust, 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 <laughs> trust, trust, trust. trust. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's the hardest thing. <laughs> yes. Yes. Adirondo, thank you. <laughs> like, can you not give me the entire picture right now? Yeah. <laughs> we never get the entire picture. No. Yeah. And no. folks, listen, we never get the entire picture. We never get the entire <laughs> and picture. And it makes it really hard to market. You know what? And the, uh, the other thing is, is so often it comes at the last moment. Uh-huh. Yes. And I don't like that either. <laughs> no. li- I mean, who likes that? No yeah. one likes that, especially no. Joy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was a good Boy Scout, and you know, you know what the the slogan of the Boy Scouts is? Be prepared. Oh, be prepared. <laughs> and so you can't be. Uh, you can. So I I've always said I'm going to be prepared for what I don't expect. Oh, that's a good thing. And so those are just words, folks. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the beauty of it is that. Often, mm. what comes out of it is so much mm. better than what you expected. It's yeah. like when you turn it over, it can be something just so much bigger, so much better than you could have planned for. Well, that's what I feel has happened here with uh, with Healing Wednesdays and mm-hmm. with with all that we're doing here on the set, and also, of course, with the courses we're beginning. It's, you know, yeah, it is it is pretty amazing to think of the courses that you're beginning, to think of Healing Wednesday, and how how successful it has been. And because you got the studio here, then we built the studio in Branson, which That's is right. where we thought we were meeting. <laughs> what happened to that? <clears throat> you know, someone always gets those signals wrong. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just glad Randy didn't show up here instead of us <laughs> with this piano. <laughs> So, you know, you guys do so much together. It's so powerful. How did you two meet? I mean, this is totally off the subject. <laughs> but, well, you know, anybody uh, I'll let her in a tell you. romance for the new yeah, year? Well, okay. Absolutely. I, I will tell you just, it's so funny. You've got an American, an Australian, and we met in Chile. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. And... Uh, so I was going to a energy course being offered by Peggy Phoenix Debro, and I had found Peggy through Cryon. But my passion was really doing Peggy's work and the mm. energy work with electromagnetic field balancing technique. So she was offering a course, but not coming to Australia. So I had to choose where do I want to go where Peggy is going to be. So I chose Chile in South America, and I had. No idea that Lee and Cryon were going to be there the exact same week that Peggy was there. But I do know this. Before I got on a plane, I wrote down, I want to meet my soulmate. Not just my soulmate, but my soul through lifetimes of soul connection soulmate. And I would love it if my soulmate would be spiritually aware that's what I wrote. <laughs> Financially independent, and that I would that I would recognize him instantly. So I put that down on pay, like big intent before I got on the plane. I hear to, everybody writing. That. <laughs> <laughs> it works <laughs> to get yeah, on you, the plane to South America. Gotta be more specific sometimes. So I was sitting in the class, <laughs> and I felt an energy before it even got through the door. And it was Lee Carroll that came in. Wow. And I was trying to think, is this just that part of me that put out the intent for the soul connection? Or am I now just one of the many who are going, oh, Lee Carroll, Lee Carroll, Lee Carroll. And we connected so that I realized, oh, it's something deeper. But I couldn't understand. You know, I didn't expect it was going to be him mm-hmm. until he showed up. <laughs> and there I was. And, and, and what about for you? Oh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> <Inquiring mind. laughs> well, um, let's just say that it was so important to me, I wrote down my email and handed it to her. Oh. I still have but, that card. And she in still my has wallet. a card. And I don't do that. I just don't do that. Yeah. I don't do it there. Yeah. You know, so and what was I gonna say? Well, I think we have some spiritual stuff to talk about. No. Um, <laughs> I think I want to, I've got a project that I'd like uh, you to uh, to work with. No. Just like I better give her my email now. <laughs> so and, and can I just reveal now the, the other piece of it was I did not write on the form that he had to be single. 
that was not on there. <laughs> and I realised, oh, maybe I should have. So a note to the women out there, maybe yeah. put single or available. Be a little more specific. Yeah. So, so it was, that, uh, was, that was our puzzle. A few more puzzle. years went by. <laughs> that was our yeah. puzzle because yeah. he was married. And um, I just want to give bless and love to Patty, mm. who was with Lee mm. and, and came together with purpose. But it was clear that when we got together, there was a – not just our soul love connection. There was obviously a deeper thing to unfold, but we're still humans and we have to go through that human part. And it was difficult for Lee to leave because you make a vow and you have an existence together and you don't want to devastate that person. So it took a long time for that, for that to go the natural path where it was more benevolent than what it could be to just up and leave in that moment. But just just drawing the line right to now and connecting the dots, this woman is part of the client work forever. Right, right. I mean, this is it. And anybody who's seen us together knows that. And that she's not just taken on the role. Mm. She was born for this role. And this is who she is. And so. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Aww. And working oh, together man. with yeah. both of you yeah. is so yeah. obvious. Yeah. yeah. So obvious. And who knew she would be the smart one? <laughs> but uh, that's just the way it works. <laughs> you know? But, you know, we never know. I mean, relationships are sometimes tricky to navigate. Yeah. And so there were times when I was kind of ready to throw it all in. I'll just share one last story. I'm there at the edge of the volcano in Hawaii. And it felt like there was no way forward because he didn't want to leave his wife. And I felt, what on earth is going to happen? Okay, spirit, I'm ready to move on to the next thing. I know my heart is going to break, but just bring me what I'm supposed to do next. I took my lay off and I threw it out into the caldera and a gust of wind picked it up and threw it back onto me. Wow. I kid you not. Wow. <laughs> I was there, folks. And so, and then the next yeah. instant, I got the message that uh, things are not what they seem. You don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do another intention. <laughs> Yeah. 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 So, um, and, and don't, so don't the, make it pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so the, I just kept mm. trusting my heart energy and had to release what the logic and intellect was trying to tell me. Well, and I think that that's so significant that, that you, you were relatively specific in your request. I know for me, I asked for a partner. I wanted a partner. I wanted a partner thinking of a sweetheart, but I didn't say a sweetheart. I said a partner and I got the joy. <laughs> but then to realize that, that things are not what they seem, mm. that, that the universe. Just to clarify, you got a business partner. I got a business partner. <laughs> Cause I got the car. You got the car. <laughs> I got the joy. Uh, I'm, but I'm taking applications for sweethearts. Because <laughs> I was told that I will meet my sweetheart at a cryon event. <laughs> oh, I know. Cool. So don't you know? I'm <laughs> no, I just know that it'll happen whenever it happens. Yes. And so many meet their sweethearts at cryon events. Yeah. They do. I mean, you've witnessed many of them. And he's I've, married I've married couples. several of them. Yeah. Now, I, I don't mean I, I married and went home with them. I mean I officiated their marriage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and you know, it's so, when spiritual people, when people come to a cryon event or when people come to one, one of our events, it's so synergistic mm -hmm. how they're all connected in some way, shape or form. It's like cryon and Adiranda mm -hmm. pulls them all together, you know? Yeah. And, and so I, somehow that happened when we got connected with you all. I mean, we met you all, really, I met you in 2002, mm -hmm. just briefly, uh, right after I was ch started channeling for a year You or blew two. me away. <laughs> <laughs> when I, I watched you channel, mm -hmm. really? I said, who is this? Because it was pure and it was fun. Mm -hmm. And really? I, I look at the joy and I see that, is this, is this a channeler who's so filled with himself? Sorry, but, you know, <laughs> you're like, or do, do they emit um, 
joy and peace and there's teaching there and all of that. Mm -hmm. And that's that was you. Oh. And sword throwing. And, we don't you know, talk about like, the sword throwing. No. <laughs> I, I wasn't doing that yet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember if I was or not. I don't think so yet. No. Yeah. yeah. It makes you wonder if Adiranda and Cryon somehow, you know, there's another oh, level I'm sure of, of conversation sure. going on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, there has to be. I think in one of the, I mean, we've channeled side by side. Many times. Many, for mm -hmm. years. Yes. For three or four or five years. Right. And, and. The, at one point, either Cryon or Adiranda or both of them mentioned that they were connected friends mm -hmm. out in wherever they're from, yeah. you know, wherever yeah. they encountered each other. Is Adiranda been a human? No, never. Mm -hmm. And neither has Cryon. So this is a bit unusual for some channels who take an entity that has lived on the planet um, and it's they're, they're planet savvy. You know, and then they channel that. It's very beautiful. In my case and in your case, we're not planet savvy as much. <laughs> and well, so, and it shows in some of our work. Yes. And I think in both of your cases, yeah. neither one of you were like looking to become a channel. No. No. You were both, oh, no. yeah, you were both just sort of like, go away. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. And, and I, I think that Cryon was actually more evolved according to the human experience than Adiranda was when yeah. Adiranda came on the scene. Because right. they're still figuring it out. Yep. You know, yeah, and Adiranda's still figuring it out. Yeah. I know that. <laughs> Adiranda is. Yes. I mean, in the beginning, I couldn't move or they didn't realize that. And well, you're a lot more um, planet savvy than Cry in some ways because Cry will not stand and move around. That's true. doesn't know how. And when, when it's have been attempted, and I have attempted it, we fall over. So the only time that changes, and there's been a few times, is mostly at, at been the Pineal Tones Choir, where I'm required to stand and channel. In which case I give instructions, and what just happened in Cancun, I must have something to hang on to. Mm -hmm. And so they give me a, a, more than a, than a mic stand, it's usually something very heavy, and, mm -hmm. or disguised as a mic stand. Otherwise, I'll tear, and it's just odd. <laughs> do you think that that has anything to do with the fact that you are a conscious channel and she's a trans channel? Yes, a lot to yeah. do with that. Yep. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. I think that, you know, in, in, in a conscious channel, you keep your eyes closed. I do. And I'm a trans channel, but I open my eyes. And, and you don't remember a thing you did, and I remember <laughs> yeah. everything I do. I don't. And that's the difference, too, because when I've had my eyes open, it didn't work. It just didn't work. So. Well, and also something that's strange, I don't know if you ever experienced this, but I'll look over, I know Adirondas there already. <laughs> like, I knew they were here earlier. Yeah. Like, um, they're here. Yeah, they're here. <laughs> yes. they're, they're both looking at me now. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we uh, just have a little message? Is it? Is yeah, it that was fun. Because they're already here. I know crowds yeah, are. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I'm very excited to hear what Brian will say. Oh, would yeah. you would you want to do a little meditation just to kind of, I mean like old times. <laughs> uh, well, how about I think what I want to share with people is it, when I think back to that moment where I wrote I want to meet my soul mate, my soul partner through all my lives of past lives and that connection. I'm remembering now in telling the story that I was feeling an energy come into me the same time I was doing this statement. And so think back to times in your life where you've requested something and there's been an energy that comes back that mm -hmm. it's like a hit, yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can write an intent down and it's almost there's no feedback mechanism. I think this is part of the key in how we manifest our intentions is to then reframe what you're writing. So when we were looking for a house, am I looking for something so specific or can I be more open to what's out there for me to come to me and there's a feedback mechanism mm -hmm. that tells you, yes, it's coming, it's exciting. Or if there's zero feedback, you kind of know, mm -hmm. maybe choose something else. 
It's not the time. It's and, not the time. Yeah. Right. So I think what I'll do is invite everyone to close their eyes and feel, sense, imagine, or think about something that you would like to manifest in the year ahead. Think about the area of health for yourself. And is there an area of health that you see a potential manifestation of? And as you feel into that potential, the manifestation of as though you've already got it, what are the signals in your body telling you how you feel about that? Are you being pulled towards it magnetically where you get a very strong, yes, this is exactly what I want for my health. And as you tune into the area of relationships for your life, think about one relationship you'd like to enhance or create. What is it that would just give you that incredible joy factor as though it's already manifest and made here? And you don't have to put out an intent, just connect with the one that gives you that delicious, yummy, yes, it's already here feeling. And then as you look at the area of abundance in your life, and not just money, money's just an exchange of energy, but abundance for always having your needs met. What are the potentials for this year of the need that you have that you feel so joyful in having that met and already achieved? And what does that feel like for you? And then let's connect in to the all permeating realm of the creator and your guides and what you want to deepen and enhance and connect with even more in this year. What is it you'd like to manifest into the here and now? And how does it make you feel? Does it give you joy and make you come alive? And I now have such great joy of the thing that I'd like to manifest. And that is to hear the beauty and the wisdom and the loving teachings and messages that come through these beautiful channels from both Cryon and Adiranda. <clears throat> Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. And so it is the beginning of the year. And I will say something I have said before, summarizing some past channels even of this last year. This beginning of the year for you, this, this auspicious time when you look forward to new things, it doesn't work that way on the other side of the veil. So you have segmented your life and expect then messages at calendar dates. And that's not the way the energy works on the planet. And yet, for years, we have gone with this with you. And we will yet again. The last two years, we have given you the same name, the same word, the same energy, What's going to happen this year? You asked last year and the year before, and we said, it's going to be the year of revelation. And then we said it again, the year of revelation. And some of you said, well, you can't do that twice <laughs> because it doesn't fit in the boxes. You said, no, you have to have something new. Well, you just got to see two years which were very similar, didn't you? The two years of revelation. And what was revealed? Well, that's where it gets a little complicated because when we say we're going to have a year of revelation, you want angels to come down and reveal the gifts of spirit. Who thought war would be revealed? And in the war, what is actually being revealed? And the answer is this. What is being revealed and what has been in these last two years 
is exactly what I prophesied to you some time ago when I said when you start to shine light on this earth there will be reaction there will be those who don't want it there will be those who pull you backwards and they will try to create what was do you see any of that do you see any any efforts to pull you back into an old energy in so many layers in so many ways and the answer is yes in fact that's all you see so what has been revealed to you is what I told you I said look for those who want to rekindle an older energy that you don't want any part of and they're gonna try and they're gonna be here and they'll do their best and some of them are not subtle some of them are world leaders and you got to see it in so many layers things are changing and they're not going to change this month maybe not even next month perhaps when I sit before you next year I'll give you the same word again and there will be objections again but I'm going to tell you what the energy is, whether it's going to be slow or fast. Wouldn't you love to hear that this particular year, 2023, is going to be about solution? Well, I'm not going to give that word. Because that's going to come later. What happens when you have an experience, a close call, a sickness or a healing what happens next after that the answer recovery and that's the word I'm going to use you are starting to recover from the revelations that don't suit you now recovery is a very positive idea and a very positive thing you recover from things that didn't work, and that means you go into things that will work. You recover from things that were horrible and awful, and in that recovery, you get well. There are so many layers to recover, but that is what you're headed for. There'll be some things happen you don't expect in that recovery regarding the war. You'll see. Some things you don't expect regarding those involved in that war. You'll see. In the field, there are so many things working right now that are unexpected that will put you into recovery. When you go through an illness, we're going to call that illness the old energy. And it starts then to revamp itself, to reveal itself, to heal itself. And you get to that place when you can say, I'm no longer sick. I am recovering. That is the state of this planet as light gets shined on to things. Now, make no mistake. There will be some, some new things that are going to be ugly. And they're all part of the scenario I gave you on Revelation. You see how these things, they have to mix they're not hard line changes from one energy to another. And that's what we wanted to tell you. But in general, recovery will be the operative word. Dear ones, I'm in love with humanity. I have told you this shift was coming for so many years. And here it is, and you're in the middle of it, and you're seeing some marvelous things take place. New ways of doing things, Things being cleaned up and a lot of recovery. Continue this. I'm crying in love with humanity. And so it is. Ah, so it is good day to you, 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 and good day to you. <laughs> it is so good to see each of you on this day, 1-1-2023, one, one, eh? We did not think that would ever come, eh? <laughs> and here it is, bright and beautiful. It all adds up to a nine. 
Yes, as our dear friend Crayon says, we are ending that cycle. We are connecting in new ways. It is a time of recovery, a time of revelation, a time of acknowledgement. And we would put one more R in there, a recovery, revelation, and revolution. Not that you are revolting against things, but revolution in the way that change is occurring. And with that revolution, that change is occurring to know that the nine is about putting away those old avenues, those old habits, those old frequencies, those old energies, those old, old, you know that old sweater that you have in your closet that you just love and it is all so good and it's got the holes in it, put it away. (laughs) No one wants to see it any longer. (laughs) Understand that there is a brand new sweater coming your way, a brand new energy that you have stepped into. It is, we know that it feels a bit like, you know, when a child jumps in the middle of a puddle of water and the water goes all over and you want to just walk into the puddle of water and let it seep into your shoes. Well, it is too late for that. You are in the puddle, already jumped and everything has come out. So understand that in that energy, In that frequency, so Marilyn said, don't touch the stick. (laughs) So in that frequency, as you are moving forward, what is happening is the recovery mode. You You are acknowledging that energy. You are acknowledging it. You are sort of putting it away. And the concern is that you cannot see beyond You cannot see one year, two year, three year in the future because everybody and their brother and their sister and their aunt and their uncle and their cousin and their mother and their father and their stepmother and their stepfather, they all have a new prediction. (laughs) But there's only one that you get the opportunity to really pay attention to. And you've just heard it. So understand that you are a part of this divine plan. You are the essence of this plan. You are the acknowledgement and the um, understanding and the exploration of new ways to do things. So understand that when you have this new way to do this, when you have this frequency and you have no instruction manual. It's sort of like, so you, you're going to go camping, yes, huh? And you go camping and you go buy a tent, one of those little tents with all those metal things that are coming up and holding the tent up and everything is perfect and, and you open up the bag of tent because you didn't open it up ahead of time because you knew how to put together a tent. Um, that could have been an error <laughs> because you didn't look at it before you got in the middle of the wilderness and you opened up the tent and you realized that the instructions are in Japanese and you do not speak Japanese at this point. So you start to channel your inner Japan person and see if you can figure it out and you do. And then you realize that there's one stake, you know, those things that go along the edge of the tent that actually hold the side up is missing. And that is sort of what this new energy is. Mm -hmm. You will feel like you have a missing part. Mm -hmm. So as we mentioned earlier, you are the Boy Scout and the Girl Scout. Be prepared, yes? So instead of freaking out and think, oh, the store, oh, how could they do this? Oh, the energy, I can't read the instructions. I've got to channel someone to get the instructions out in that energy. How can that be? Instead, sit. Sit in the stillness and look at your beautiful tent. (laughs) And then look around to see what you have that you have available to you that's long and narrow. Well, you're in the woods, so you've got to have trees there. And probably one tree just dropped a branch right where you could locate it. Use it to hold the tent up instead of what you expected was a metal pole. That is how the new energy is. So we ask you not to enter into 
this new frequency, this new world, this new year, which is a seven year, and sit down and analyze everything that did not happen, because that is what a seven is. But to remember that the seven, for this entire year, is the most spiritual of all the numbers. It is out of balance, yes, because the seven has a flat top, and then it's got a little angle coming down with the stand, with no visible signs of foundation. And yet it still stands upright. And it looks forward in that energy. And it looks forward to see what is possible. And then it analyzes, but it can check in, but it's still connected to the crown. That's where the t corner is on that seven. And the seven is uh, understanding. The seven is connecting. That's where that revolution, you have a revolution of thought to realize that what was is no longer. What is, is an adventure. <laughs> and in that capacity to know that everything that is coming in is still perfect divine order. Everything that that frequency is acknowledging is still in divine order. So as the war is coming in the energy, you've already heard it, it is not what you expect it to be. Which is true. Your family is not what you expect it to be. So remember, if you have expectations, well, stop that. Just stop that, because your expectations are going to be disappointed. Because nothing is as it seems to be. Huh? Mm -hmm. In that energy, who would have ever thought that you have a stick that can easily be whittled down because you were prepared and you got a knife in your pocket to make sure that it's going to fit into that little realm in the tent. Understand that in this frequency of the air, this frequency of the energy, you are ending a cycle of not knowing. That is why the Chrysalis Academy, the Lemurian teaching wheel, the Channeler's Method, the Channeler's Academy, the How to Channel, blah, blah, all those are teaching you, dearest beings of light, how to get your own answers. How to understand that you are the answer that you have been looking for. Set your intention. Set your frequency, set your knowledge, and understand that it is not what you expect it to be. You are ending that cycle. This is a nine today. You are ending that cycle of believing that things are a certain way. That just because you buy a tent does not mean that it's going to have all of its parts. That does not mean that it's going to have the correct instructions. But as you sit in the stillness, as you sit in the stillness and listen, you will receive everything that is necessary. You will receive the answer. You will receive the guidance. You will receive the parts. You will receive the frequency. You will receive that intention that you set out. That is why if your intention says, oh, I can't put this tent together because I can't even read the instructions and there's no pole, you are right. And you know what we are going to say, if you sit in the stillness and you think, well, what else could I use for a pole? And I can channel that Japanese person that wrote these instructions. I know I can. You will. The revolution 
is about recovering your revelation. It is about acknowledging that frequency of this new world, which is so exciting. Such an adventure, eh? <laughs> and to know that in that adventure, sometimes you might teeter off a little bit, sometimes you might run into a missing tent pole, sometimes you might run into something else that doesn't necessarily, at the point of your expectation, feel like it serves your greater good. That is why we say it, to let go of your expectation. Because dearest beings of light, you see your energy, as we have said over and over and over for the last 23, 24 year now, you are the next evolutionary step. You are the next revolutionary step to acknowledge the change, to return to love, That love frequency will carry you through those times that are difficult. That love frequency itself is changing and is accessible. For you are ending a cycle to be without that love, possibly, which means you are opening the cycle of being with that love. You are stepping in to infinite love of all of humanity, not to just one part, not just one color, not just one belief system, but all of humanity. And when you can love even those beings that seem to be making decisions that are affecting your life in a negative way, notice that we said seem to be. That goes back to that expectation. You are the next evolutionary, revolutionary, recovery person of this world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Recovering who you were. Going back to your time in Lemuria. Going back to your time in Atlantis. Going back to your time before you were there. Huh? And as you do, you will remember. You will remember and be who you are in this year. And we know that it may take a year or two or three. So be patient with yourself. Be patient with who you are. A magnificent being of light. To be here on this planet again in this massive time of change. Yes, remember what it was like to play in that puddle of water. That's your frequency. Remember with glee how big it splashed with your intention, with your boot. It is time for that splash of joy. It is time now. So we ask you to acknowledge that seven this year. Find your balance. Find your area. And jump into that puddle. And bring your tent with you, huh? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love you so much. It is so good to see you, see you, see you. In person. <laughs> <laughs>
or somewhat. <laughs> oh, we love each of you. We see you. We know you. We are you. And for the moment, we bid you namaste. Mm. Mm. Namaste. Mm. <laughs> oh, that Ooh. was beautiful. Yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. beautiful. I was trying it back in the back thinking, attempt? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I did think for a second, has Adirondack put together a tent? Like, <laughs> no, Adirondack is always intense. <laughs> Um, all right, all right. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, folks. Well, thank you so much, both of you. That was really special. Mm, mm, yeah. Absolutely. Very special for us, too. Especially the way, the dramatic way you made an entrance I into know. our studio. So, oh, Randy. 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 You need to get back. Oh, no. oh my Randy. goodness. Oh. We need to teleport into the studio in Branson. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, well, well, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Wow. <laughs> That was, I'm so, I, I so hope they don't go back into the television set. I know. I know. I know. But you know what? Maybe we need to do that for every guest on Healing Wednesday from here on in, right? Let's just take them from the TV right here. Yeah, we have to yeah. get Marilyn and Joy involved. Carl can do it. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. That was fun. Great. told you the transporter was fixed. Yeah, if you consider getting stuck in the monitor fixed. Exactly. Do you know how small that is for Joy and me? Oh, and wait. It took my necklace. What? I've got different earrings. Uh, I knew Monica uh, liked my earrings. I'll you... go look for him. Uh, I'll be right back. See you at activation. That was weird. That was weird. You know, it's weird out there in virtual reality. Wasn't that great with Lee and Monica? Oh, oh I loved oh, it. Oh, my gosh. That was so much fun. And I love that we can just pop back and forth. Not only Randy gets to do it, but we get to do it, too. I know. You know, it's kind of feeling of that pushing going by when you're in that other reality. Reality. The three R's. <sighs> Oh, I wonder what Adiranda would say about the three. Mm, ah, so we do love virtual reality. <laughs> now you can welcome to our world. That is how we feel all the time. You huh? just transport all over the place, yes, don't you? Yes, yes. And you know that with the Lee, the dearest, dearest friend Cryon, and Monica, you've got the recovery. And you've got the revelation. And as we bring in the revolution, because that tent needs a new way to be put up. The tent? The tent. Oh, the tent, of course, with the poles You forget and already. It was just a few moments I ago. Know. And you are already, she is in another reality. <laughs> and I was just so impressed that you knew that poles went together like that. Have you not seen a tent? <laughs> I have, but I didn't know you built a tent before. We love modes of transportation. <laughs> so tents are a way to bring that transportation into a different reality and a different setting. Of course we know what they are. <laughs> we see what you do. We see the human experience. You see, we love modes of transportation. huh? And that is why with the transporter... That is like our transportation all the time. Huh? <laughs> it is. And when we feel that energy of transportation, we have that frequency that is coming in in this year of always being available, always being exactly where is in your highest good to be, no matter what dimension you are in. So we want you to understand that the vessel Maryland's earrings and the Joy's necklace are now in some other dimension, and they will bring them back through their emotional connection with those 
devices of beauty. You understand that in this year, 2023, that energy is coming in and the dimensional frequency that is happening in this energy is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So with that strength of interdimensionality coming in, you may want to practice your teleportation exercises. You may want to focus on where you wish to be in another location and allow yourself to go into a meditative state and then see if you can bring your energy there. It may or may not be in the same shape that it is in when you left it wherever you were. But that is what is happening more and more often in this year. And so the interdimensionality of that is truly spectacular. We ask you to accommodate that interdimensionality. That is why sometimes you end up in a television screen. Huh? Sometimes you end up in, a, in a, a, a frequency that is not what you would choose consciously. However, you chose it subconsciously because there are no accidents. There are no things that are happening to you. There's no energy that is clarifying you, that is controlling you, that is activating you, except what you choose to have in your energy. Dearest beings of light, you know who you are. And you know this is the energy this year of change. It is about recovering from the foundation you laid down in 2022. It is, it is about having the new revelation that you can dematerialize in one location and materialize in another location. Now, we ask you to practice it, but we don't ask, ask you to bear down and focus on it and get in all that energy. We just ask you to relax and do it. For that breath of nowness that you are experiencing right here right in this moment is to understand that no matter what happens, you will always be provided for. Even if you open up the instructions to something and they are in Japanese and you only speak English or you only speak Spanish or you only speak Portuguese, you will still connect in and have the knowledge of what it is that you need to do. If you are putting something together and a piece is missing, something better will be on the way to you. Understand that is the frequency of this year. That is the revolution of this year to revolt against the old frequency and embrace the divine change of your own spirituality, your own growth, your own energy, your own presence. For that presence is a gift. That presence acknowledges you like no other. In this year, ah, take a deep breath, dearest beings of light. For as you have already seen evidence, you can be in a presence without being present. 
and your energy can be scattered about unless you really focus on what it is that you are consciously choosing. So now, of course, the question becomes, how in the world do you consciously choose when you feel like your subconscious is working against you and bringing in all that old trauma, drama, stories, energy that bothers your consciousness? That is why we ask you for that revolution of transformation with your old energy. We ask that you honestly visualize those old stories, those old frequencies, those old things that happened to you when you were three year old or 10 year old or eight year old or 57 year old or 87 year old. Matters not. And bring all that in and integrate it so perfectly in your cellular being that your only option is to be conscious here, now, in the awareness of Source, in the awareness that you are a divine being of light and you are provided information to keep you always in the flow and to hold you in that flow because there are no mistakes. Source does not take the instructions and turn them into Japanese when you only speak Portuguese. Source gives you a translator to look at the Japanese writings and say, I understand what those mean. For that translator is within you. In this year, we are asking you to connect with that translator of peace. We are asking you to connect with that, that instigator of joy that is within you, to bring you into the presence and bring you present with the presence. You understand what we say, huh? To be present with the presence is a powerful presence, and if you're not present with the presence, then who could possibly be present? Because everything's a gift. Ah, <laughs> or a present. That's right. Yes. And with that, we know we have many questions. We do have a few questions, Adirond, and let me just pull them up here. Um, and it reminded me, as you were talking, about our program, The Channeler's Method, which is all about learning how to use your intuition and how to get your own answers and how to... Use that stillness, that moment of presence to actually tap into your innate abilities. And I think that that is really important in the coming year. I think that's really where we're all headed. I mean, no offense or anything, but it's great to get answers from you, but those answers are also within us as well. You know, it might be better suited, it's too late now, however, to call it the LinkedIn method. <laughs> <laughs> because you are a divine link. Yeah, I know that is something that you've brought up. However, no your... one understands link. They understand channeling. Well, and LinkedIn is a social media app. <laughs> it is but social? we're digressing from that. <laughs> Let's get back to the questions. Ah, good idea. <laughs> Let's see. So one of the questions we have um, is uh, comes in from one of our friends, Lainey. And she says, she asks, do you see physical turmoil or earthly disasters increasing or decreasing in this new year? Take a deep breath. Yes, we do. We see an increase of physical changes 
for humanity. The weather, the space, the, the growing patterns, the plant patterns, those are changing. Those are shifting in that frequency. As a result, humanity gets the opportunity to shift or gets the opportunity to not shift. Where the turmoil comes is when you do not accept the natural flow of the universe. When you, that is why we talked about the uh, tent stakes and the tent, whatever their metal things are called. That, because to know that everything that happens is still in that state of divine order. So when you feel that turmoil, you are pushing against the energy. When you feel that that essence that that you come home and and you see your child that is has crossed into the other dimension, all so suddenly, how could that possibly be divine order? And yet it is. For you see, there are many people, many beings that are now assisting from the other side of the veil mm -hmm. as well as from this side of the veil. So be prepared for that. We know it is not possible to prepare yourself for the loss of a dear friend or the loss of a connection but to know that they are not lost. They are present in a different way. So in that energy, when you say, is the turmoil decreasing or is it increasing? We say, yes. It may be increasing, but the way you respond to it is increasing as well. So we ask you to always find the good in everything. Always know that somewhere there is a luminescent lining that is coming through in that energy. So even though it may seem like challenges are getting greater, Light plurkers are getting stronger as well. You see, this is the year that corner comes in, that changing of the guard, if you would, comes in to have the light plurkers, play plus work equals plurk, the light plurkers of humanity being the difference in this world. You will see how it turns out. And this is that year of transformation to your spiritual growth. So remember when you are talking about all oh, this terrible turmoil, you are a part of that turmoil. But when you are talking about oh, this what appears to be a terrible turmoil. Look at the good things that happened because of it. And that is your focus. Next question. This one actually comes in from another friend of ours, Rosemary. Ah. And the question is, is the, and she puts love quotient, quotient under in brackets, so quote unquote, love quotient, is the love quotient on the planet increasing significantly? Yes. It is increasing significantly because uh, the light pluckers are multiplying at a more rapid pace all throughout the planet. 
That is why we ask you to focus on the good. That is why we ask you to focus on the intent. That is why we ask you to focus on what you're choosing and to have that love quotient. That is the right word? Love quotient. Love quotient. Expanding. Which, which reminds me, um, you've often said that there's a certain percentage of light workers on the planet already. Yes. And that percentage is growing. Yes. Not that it really matters, just my mind wants to know what that percentage is now. When we began this journey with you, the percent of light players on the planet was maybe 10% or 15%. We do not know. We did not count them up then. <laughs> However, in the past two years, they've gone from 22% to 25%. Mm. In this year, instead of going from 1% in two or three years, they will increase by 1%. Maybe 2%, depending on what you and our vessel Marilyn are doing, as well as Lee Carroll and as well as Monica Maroni and as well as, as other light pluckers that have chosen to be a part of the revelation that is revolutionizing the light on this planet. And Adirond, because we have so many people on today that um, may not be familiar with you, they th this may be their first time to actually be on a spiritual program like this. How would you define a light plurker? A light plurker. It used to be called a light worker, and before that, it was called a a, a person who wishes to be light and move as light throughout the planet. And light is that essence of, of true goodness, that essence of, of conscious, illuminated living, that essence that automatically finds the good in everything, no matter what it is. Then it was a light worker, who worked with that energy and who attempted to, to live their life as they are the difference. And then we came on the scene and realized that there's such a stigma with working. It's like, oh, you have to work. You have to work for your living and it's, work is hard and blah, 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 all the, the old programs that go along with work. So we thought, well, why work? Why not play plus work, which is plurk. And that is what you are now, a light plurker. Expanding the light wherever you are. And as you expand the light wherever you are, it is not work. It is plurk. Huh? Let us activate that light plurker. That would be a revolution. Yes. <laughs> With the master, Randy Luna. Yes, we love you deeply. We see you. And we give thanks for you transporting us in. <laughs> yes. So just take a deep breath and ask what light illuminates through you What vision of luminescence 
comes from your heart. To the trueness of you. What aspect is more you than you ever thought possible? That is what we are activating now. Breathe into that, dearest. Allow the notes that are played by the Master Randy Luna to activate your true essence. In this dimension of your world, Each note carries an encodement from your roots, your origin, whether it is intergalactic, outer galactic, brought in through the essence of this planet, this galaxy, to be that truth, that wondrousness, that creative life force that is light. Your willingness to be the light on this planet has been noticed throughout all the galaxies for that dimensional reality is honing in on your presence now. With that presence, your acknowledgement your spectacularness is unfolding before you gently 
easily, effortlessly. with such gratitude, with such purity of love that is you. Feel your heart expanding with the true essence of you. orchestration of your essence in gratitude always for everything in your life. Be grateful Be you, always. Namaste. Namaste. That was so elegant. Oh. It was so full of grace and I felt courage. I felt forward and, and flow. New year stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean that that was beautiful. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank but you. I, I give credit to Adiranda because <laughs> I'm not here yet. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Marilyn is a trans channel, which means that sometimes it takes a little bit for her to get back into her human body from the divine link that she is with Adiranda and the Council of Light. Well, Happy New Year! Happy New Happy Year! New year. Happy 2023! Wow. wow! Yeah, and yes. Happy New Year to all of you. Thank you so much for joining us this New Year's Day, or if you're watching the replay later, thank you for joining us. And we do this every month. We get together yep. in the studio and we, we do the universal message of the month based upon the double digits of each month. And we would love... Right? We'd love to have you guys join us. Of course. Maybe they need to know what the double digit is. Well, yeah. check your inbox because we will be sending out some information to you if you'd like to join us. And there may even be a special offer there. And Ooh. I won't go into it right now. But we would love to have you with us for the double digit each month. Which happens on 111 is the next one. And then the one after that is on 222. Because that's got all those twos in it, and we love that. How about 333? 
Wait a minute. <laughs> That's no. ten Three years three. from That's now. That's all. Gotcha. Then four, okay. four, five, okay. five, six, That's a six, lot seven, more seven. math. Oh, yeah. more math. No math. No Don't want to do math. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much. Please check out our website, Adiranda.com. A D I R O N N D A dot com. We're always up to something. Always. And also join us for spiritual happy hour. Yeah. Right now it's the first and last Sunday of each month at. Four o'clock for Pacific time. <laughs> four, four Pacific <laughs> on our YouTube channel. Just go to the Adiranda yeah. Marilyn Harper YouTube channel, and that's the easiest way to find it. But of course, if you get on our email list, we'll send you reminders. And from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much yes. for joining us on this New Year's Day 2023. We are so grateful for <sighs> all of you for having the courage to be light plurkers. <laughs> Yes, and now you know what one is, right? Yeah, and as we say here in Studio B in Branson, Missouri, Namaste, Namaste, y'all. Namaste. get to our get to pop in and we'll go in five four three two <laughs> that just never gets old look uh, happy new year happy happy new new year. use your microphones we oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right try it again okay, but you okay. Right. <laughs> i was imitating you then you are not <laughs>